Hello and welcome to another engraving project video. This time I'm working on Grand Seiko. Customer really liked the design I did on Rolex a couple of years ago, so we started out searching for a platform to work on, and we found Grand Seiko. Design itself was not hard, but incredibly time consuming, and the pandemic slowed it down progress even more. In a comparison with Rolex project, Seiko had to have gold inlays and less background. The bracelet was challenging to cut and it was about 60% of work on it alone. As this watch is made entirely from titanium, it was a bit different than cutting the stainless steel. In the moment I start to work with the bracelet, I noticed that sides of the middle links were moving and they were separate pieces. That made gold inlays and cutting a lot more complicated and time consuming. Cutting wasn't hard, but it seemed that titanium had more vibration and therefore tools broke more often. Once the gold was inlaid, I had to completely remove original finish and refinish it afterwards, which took me a couple of passes of variety of polishing compounds and refinishing was done by hand. After a couple of weeks of work on the bracelet, the buckle design was next and it was fairly easy once the design was done and every step was planned.
Watch case itself was again days of very careful work under microscope, as customer wanted the bezel and big chamfers on the case to remain polished. But during all that work I managed to lightly scratch the polished surfaces and that meant I had to restore original polish. The lugs on the watch case may have been the most difficult spot to cut as they were not flat and design had to flow and connect design on the bracelet. If the design would be misaligned it would stand out, so I had to take my time and very carefully mark the position of elements. Once the engraving and shading were finished, I had to clean and repolish the watch off the camera a couple of more times. After two months of work and Christmas in between, the Grand Seiko was finally finished and had to visit the watchmaker for assembly. It was not easy to capture two months of work in short video, but I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. If you want to see my future projects, you can like and subscribe to this channel. Also, you get to see more pictures and behind the scenes work on my Instagram and Facebook pages. You can click on the link in the description to find me on social media and also my email and website for engraving inquiries.